Hi booktube! It's Missy and I'm going to be doing my September book haul slash unboxing. I am waiting for one more package from Thrift Books. I was hoping it would be here tomorrow but I can't wait anymore and if it's not here tomorrow then I'll be sad and I'll just add it to my October book haul. But let's get started. I'm really excited to show you guys the books. I've been holding on to it for the last couple weeks now and I'm pretty sure I did not make a video earlier this month so this is all the books that I've purchased in September and one movie. Obviously, obviously I needed to pre-order and buy the Fault in Our Stars movie because I like collecting movies that go with the books that I own and this movie was amazing and if you get it on Amazon you get a cool bracelet and I the, the bracelet is cool trust me it's cool but it's leather or I don't know if it's fake leather or real leather but I didn't want it to get messed up in the shower and so it's somewhere in the bathroom probably in my jewelry box thing and I don't want to get up and get it but you get a bracelet if you buy the movie on Amazon. If you get it from Walmart or Target, you don't get the cold bracelet. And that's, I wanted the bracelet. So, Fault in Our Stars, already watched it. Already watched the special features. This one is the Blu-ray DVD and Digital HD Edition. Woo! And I love that it's got this rainbow holographic kind of thing to the video cover. I love it. I love all videos that have sleeves and um, I always buy combo packs because I like watching on the computer and my TV in the living room. And digital copies are always nice because then I can watch it on the computer there too. Whatever. Anyways, the next book that I, or not the next, that one was a video. Now these are books. So the first book that I purchased this month I got from my local library bookstore. This was a dollar. It is The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay by Michael Chabon. Chabon. And um, lots of people talk about how great this book is. It's a historical fiction, I believe, about two, is it two cousins? Yeah. Two cousins who decide to get together and create comic books, I think. I think I think that's what it is. And um, it's really big, and I don't know when I'm going to get to it, but everybody talks about how great this book is, and I do want to read it eventually. The next books that I purchased <clears throat> are in a series, and this is why I wanted to wait for the last package from thrift books because the first book in the series is actually in that package but it sat in florida for six days before it decided to ship here while all the rest of my packages were already here which is annoying but here is here is the series it's the dead little secrets series i believe by what is it Lori? for Rara Stolarts. Gosh, I, like I can't read cursive for some reason. Um, so Dead Little Secrets is the very first book and it's in the package. And then I was so excited to find the rest of the series at my library bookstore. They did have the first one, but it was hardcover and it was slightly beat up more than the rest of them. And since I already bought the first book in the series from thrift books I didn't want to have a second edition for no reason so I did get the other ones I'm not sure what order they come in it doesn't say it on the book itself but I, I, I can look them up on Goodreads and find out later but for, first of all all right so the first one is deadly little lessons and then there is deadly little games and Deadly Little Lies, and Deadly Little Voices. Um, I'm just so excited that the person who put these books, like, gave them to the library, gave the entire series. 
it's always nice to be able to buy the whole thing. Not like my Scott Westerfeld Ugly series. They only had the second and third book in the series, but the uh, person didn't give the first book or the last book, or maybe they did and someone came before me and bought only those two books. It's like, buy the whole series or don't buy it at all. You're making it bad for everybody else. Anyways, I'm excited to read these. They have been on my TBR list forever. I, I want to tell you what it's about, but I forgot. Next, I have here Sanctum by Madeline Rue. This is the sequel to Asylum, which I am so excited to read starting in October. Me and Penelope are going to be reading tons of horror books, and I can't remember if she said she has Asylum, but I have Asylum. I'm going to read it, and then I also bought um, the novella that goes between Asylum and Sanctum, which is called Scarlets, I believe. And they all, they're all just really creepy and they have like really scary pictures in them. And I love the covers. I love them. I love the covers. And it's, it's just all black, but I like, I just, I love it. So excited to read it. So excited. You want to see the first picture? Oh, I can't, you're not even seeing it. It's just a ghostly figure. So, yep. I'm definitely going to start this next week, this week, soon. I'm going to be starting it soon. All right, on to the unboxing. So the first package, like I said, they're all, these ones are from Thrift Books. I'm starting to really, really enjoy this store, online store, and I think I will be using it more often than Book Outlet because even though there are used books, they have all the books I want, whereas Book Outlet is just books that are overstocked from other stores. So let's open this up, shall we? I actually have a box cutter this time. I'm smart and planned ahead. So in this package, we have two, two paperbacks, Ooh, so excited. Um, this one is called The Hollow by Jessica Verde. Now, what did I just read by Jessica Verde? Mm, Jessica Verde. Oh, she wrote the Edgar Allan Poe book that I read from NetGalley called Of Monsters and Madness. Of Monsters and Madness. Um, I really, really, really enjoyed her writing style and so I found this on Thrift Books and I was super excited that she had a uh, another book series. This is The Hollow. This says this saga continues and then there's The Haunted. I swear to God, if this isn't the first book, I'm going to die. I'm, I'm going to die. I'm pretty sure this is the first book of a new series. And what did it say here? Spectacular Keeps You Reading from Beginning to End Without Coming Up for Air by L.J. Smith. That's the blurb. Um, I love the purple color. I needed more purple on my shelf. And, yes, it's in pretty good condition. No benty pages, really. So, excited! The next book I got was The Night Strangers by Chris Bohalian. Bohalian. This has been on my TBR on Amazon for a while, and I was excited that I found it. It says, Echoes of Rosemary's Baby and The Shining. Read if you dare, but keep an extra light on and make sure your seat is in the full upright and locked position. Uh, if that blurb doesn't make you want to read this book, I don't know what will. Maybe if it said it was from Stephen King instead of USA Today, I would be even more excited. But it just sounds really creepy, and I wanted to read it, and any horror book is good in my opinion. The next book package <clears throat> I am opening now. It's kind of anticlimactic when it's opening little packages like this. You don't hear any cutting or ripping or anything. 
All right, this one is also a paperback. Ooh. Take it. Take it out. Ooh. All right, I got Strange Angels by Lily St. Crow. <sighs> Dark, dangerous, and sexy, Drew Anderson is a tough new heroine whose story you won't be able to put down by Rochelle Mead. Um, this is another series. I have seen this on Book Outlet several times, but this one was cheaper by I don't know how much. But I wanted it, and so I got it. And this one is kind of venti, but it's not too bad. It'll do. It's, it's the content that's on the inside that counts, right? So, if you guys have read any of these books, obviously let me know down in the comments. I always like hearing your guys' opinions on the books that I buy. Next package is a hardback, which I have been dying to read forever because the cover itself makes me want to read it. And it is called Ruined by Paula Morris. There's a little bit of a, oh, a little bit of rip there and a little bit of a rip on here. Let's see what it looks like underneath. Meh. But um, the, the cover is a girl in a, in a graveyard. And she is transparent, so I want to read it. Ghost book? Maybe. Supernatural? Obviously. Paranormal? I love it. What does it say on the back? Do you... Do you know the way out of here? Rebecca asked. Her voice was breathy. She was almost hyperventilating with anxiety. The Sixth Street Gate. Mm. I don't know. Sounds good. I wanted it. I like the cover. And I want all creepy covers with girls in cemeteries on the bookshelf. All of them. You know of a creepy cover with a girl standing in a cemetery? Let me know down below. I will buy the book. All right, the next package has a hardback and a paperback in it, and ooh, I was hoping it was the other cover, but whatever. It is The Red Church by Scott Nicholson, a wonderful storyteller. He is at the top of his game by Sharon Mc McCrum. I don't know who that is. Anyways, I, it, it's a creepy story about a church, so I wanted it. Demonic. I'm hoping it is. Um, this is, for the most part, okay in its uh, quality. There's not too many messy corners or anything. It's a little ripped and damaged, but oh well. I can't wait to read it. The next book I got was Girl Interrupted. I'm sad because I actually wanted the other cover. I didn't want the movie cover of this, but I really enjoyed this um, movie. I like anything that has to do with insane asylums, and so I cannot wait to read this book. Um, this is by Susanna Kaysen. Ooh, Winona Ryder. All right, last package from Thrift Books. I don't know why this one came in a white package. It's like Thrift Books decided that it didn't want to send it to me and then so the, the seller of the book had to do it themselves. I don't know. I'm guessing here. What is this one? Hardback. Yay, it's Fathomless by Jackson Pierce. This is a retelling, I believe, of Little Mermaid. I own Sweetly, which I think is a Hansel and Gretel. I read uh, The Red Sisters, I think, which is um, Little Red Riding Hood and The Wolf. And I didn't really like that story, but I wanted to give Jackson Pierce another chance. And so I bought her Sweetly book, and now I have Fathomless. Um, I love retellings, but The Sisters Red was just not that good. So I'm excited to read this one. All right, those were from Thrift Books, and now I have, oops, where is it? 
Aww. There we go. Yay! Now I have my book outlet box. I told you guys I was going to continue to buy my books in $35 increments. I don't want to go above that just because it's um, it gets really expensive, especially with book outlet and the shipping price gets really high <laughs> the more books you buy, obviously, because then it gets heavier. And this shipping was only $5.99, and so I was like, well, I can do that. I don't want to spend $13 on shipping when I could probably get all those books from thrift books and get free shipping. You see how it is when you are a book hoarder, you start actually thinking about shipping prices and like, oh, do I really want to pay extra money when I could just buy more books for the same price and get free shipping. All right, book outlet. I bought this book outlet purchase because I was watching a new booktuber that I just subscribed to and she was book hauling a book that really interested me so I looked it up on book outlet and they only had one left and I was like well damn it I want this book and I want it now and so I had to buy $35 worth of books in order to get it well actually I didn't spend $35 I, I didn't get to use a coupon because I didn't spend enough money in order to use a coupon. But I bought enough books to, whatever, to buy the books. Anyways, this is the book that she hauled. I will leave her channel link down below. I can't remember her name right now because I just subscribed to her. But it's called Rosie, oh, not that's the title. That's the author. The title is The Palace of Curiosities, and it's by Rosie Garland. Now... I'm hoping, and I'll have to ask the girl, like all of this dirtiness is definitely part of the book, right? I would hate to have just dropped in dirtiness before they sent it to me, but I think, yeah, I think that's the way it's supposed to be. This just seemed so incredibly interesting, and I wanted to buy it. And Rosie Garland, I think she, why does it sound familiar? I'll have to look it up and see what other books she has written. But I liked the book cover. I loved it, and so I had to buy it. <clears throat> next in the box, get rid of the paper. So the next book in the box is The Taker by Alma Katsu. Uh, the reason why I liked this book was because it was about a man who meets this weird lady in a hospital. She is a murder suspect, and they strike up a romance and I don't know why but I think it's paranormal based um, I was excited I was excited to get it and let's see what's underneath underneath is a sagey green color I like it I like it so that's book number two the third book in the box is one that everyone has hauled already it's memoirs of a teenage amnesiac by Gabrielle, Gabrielle Zevin, and I, ha I really like um, books that talk about you know horror, paranormal. If there's an insane asylum, if there's someone who has lost their memory, anything that has to do with something strange and unusual, I, I want to read it. And this one, it seemed really good, but everybody was um, hyping it up, and so I didn't really want to buy it. But this was a dollar. How much it was like a dollar fifty? How much? How much? Yeah, a dollar forty nine. And I'm like, well, it's a dollar forty nine. I'll just buy it and read it, and hopefully, I'll like it. But it is intriguing, and I can't, I can't wait to try it out. The next book that I purchased was Hold Me Closer, Necromancer by Lish McBride. I really liked this book. I've already read it, and I want to read Necromancing the Stone, which is the second book in the series. I'm really upset because I had to buy this in paperback, and the reason why I had to buy it in paperback is because they don't make this particular book cover in hardcover. My second book is in hardcover, and now I wish I bought it in paperback. Anyways, I really like this book. It's about a boy who doesn't know he's a necromancer, at the beginning and then he finds out later on that he is one but he needs help in um and and practicing on his techniques and you know on on what necromancing means and you get to go through with him throughout the story figuring out 
who he is, who his family members are, why he is the way he is. And there's a little bit of werewolves in here. He kind of falls in love with one. And um, it was just a really exciting book to read, and I'm excited that I bought it. Because, you know, I have the second one and I didn't own the first one. I borrowed the first one from the library. So, yay! I finally own the first one in the series. The next book that I have is going to be super funny. And you guys are going to wonder why I bought it. But it's called These Children Who Come At You With Knives and Other Fairy Tales by Jim Netfell. Uh, hilarious. So these are really, really gruesome children's fairy tales and I wanted to read them. Der, uh, it says, once upon a time a literary iconoclast mocked classical fairy tales and it was good. Happily ever after indeed. Uh, the synopsis is a lot better and this cover is hilarious and I, I had to buy it. I had to buy it. So it's, it's now mine. I'm excited. And the last book in the box is called Little Woods by McCormick Templeman. And I loved the cover. I loved it. I loved it. Let me really quickly read what it's about because I, I know I wanted to buy it for a really good reason. Okay. It says, this is a, um, a boarding school book and I love books that have to deal with boarding schools. I'm just going to read the little blurb in the, on the inside cover and it says unexplained disappearances, suspicious deaths, there's something wrong with the woods behind St. Beatty's Academy. That's why I bought the book because I wanted to know what happens. Why are these killings going on and these mysteries taking place. So loved the cover, wanted to own it. It's purple and black and um that's it with my book haul. I bought some books from Thrift Books, I bought some books from Book Outlet, and I bought some books from my local library bookstore. They're all really good priced. Remember, I don't, I never, I never buy books at full price if I can help it, just because I know it helps with the book industry, but I'm just, I'm not rich, and I can't afford a $25 book. And that's what I would like. I would love to go in at Barnes and Noble and just buy books from there, but it's too expensive. So I do it this way instead. Thanks for watching. Again, let me know down below if you have read these books, if you own these books, if you haven't read these books and you do own them, if you want to buddy read with me, that's always fun. In October, uh, Penelope and I will be doing a lot of buddy reading this October and I will be doing my TBR soon. I am still on the fence. I mean, it's going to be a very big tentative TBR because there are a ton of horror books on my shelves, at least 75. Plus I have some on my Kindle and I, it's just outrageous how many books that I would like to read during October that I probably will not be able to. <clears throat> Asylum and Sanctum are definitely on the list, and also The Shining is on the list. So, with those said, those are definites, and we'll see what else I put on the list in this next week, because I need to really hone in on that TBR and then film the video for you guys. So, thanks for watching. I will talk to you later. Bye!